Hi YouTube and welcome to the Sajwa TV show. Today's episode, Sajwa drinks a 40. <laughs> um, I've never had a 40 before and a friend of mine at work and I were discussing it and I told him I'd go ahead and drink a 40 um, and come let him know what my findings were. So I'm about to start drinking. It's as big as my head. Look at that. It's ridiculous. And I've obscured the label because no one's written me a check to tell you which beer I drink, so I'm not going to. Mr. Bush. Um, so there we go. And it has a screw top, which is very, very classy. Um, and I'm also going to tell you the story of me being called to the office at work. So. It doesn't taste as good um, out of that size bottle. That's my first finding. <laughs> I'll be back. Called to the office. Here's what happened. I was minding my own beeswax, picking an order like you do, and all of a sudden, over the loudspeakers, I hear, Sajwa V, please report to the office. Sajwa V. See, this is a microphone now. See how we can all play make-believe? It's, it's wonderful. We're all, we're all children again. <laughs> please report to the office. So I'm thinking, crap, because the, the voice, everything, wasn't my boss. It was another set of boss. You know, there's like bosses, bo there's bosses everywhere. You know, a lot of, a lot of cheeps in this here place. Anyhow, so I make my way up to the office and here's what I see. Sazwa, thank you, ma'am. Will you have a seat and shut the door? please. So I'm thinking, crap! What the hell did I do? Uh, I don't usually get called into the office for things, because I'm usually the like a good employee. You know, I work, I keep to myself, I just get my stuff done. I'm in the office, and this sounds serious. By the way, the names here, if I mention any, have been changed to protect the idiots, the innocent. All right. What did you hear? Okay, well, what did I hear? <laughs> um, I was doing my work, well, like usual, and I came upon a, a conflagration of people on forklifts. Um, and it, it looked like they were having some kind of a discussion with one another, um, one of whom was the boss lady who I'm, I'm talking to now. And there was two forklift guys, and they were just, you know, <laughs> you know how people get when they don't feel like working? That's what was going on. Um, the only thing that I caught was this. Um, I think I heard that James is so stressed out right now that he's starting to lose his hair. When I said this, though, I didn't have a 40 in my hand. He's so stressed out that he's starting to lose his hair. Okay, what did you hear before that? Um, I think... Um, I think... Um, I think I heard that... And did you hear anything else? Um, I think... Um, I think... Um, a little while before that, I heard Peter say to James, some people think they can talk about some people, but they just don't know. But I didn't understand what that meant. But he was angry about it! So you didn't hear Fred call James a bitch? So there you have it. I got called into the office, called into the office um, to find out if I heard so-and-so call so-and-so a bitch. Is this high school? Here we have a very good illustration of why I am not the boss. Because if I were the boss and someone came to me with this problem, I would say, James, grow a pair and get back to work. 
your forklift is getting cold or something. And uh, probably human resources would be alerted to language like that coming out of my mouth. But for God's sake, this is not high school. It doesn't matter what so-and-so calls so-and-so. Just get your damn work done and stay out of my hair. And this is why I'm not the boss. <laughs> um, that much left on the 40 at present. Just to keep you posted. This is important stuff. Uh, uh, okay, I spilled the last, like, four drops, but other than that... Uh, the 40's gone. I killed the 40. Poor thing. And, uh, now I'm editing the film, and then I'll post it. And, uh, something. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.